Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So today is another episode of Anyone Can PVM. Now, if you know me, I am a skiller, not a killer, and the reason I actually maxed my account before ever even touching the chambers of Zarek is because I'm bad at the game, and I'm still really bad at the game. But I'm going to show you that really anyone can do this. I'm going to go and throw up on screen how much money I made in the past month and a half of the Chambers of Zarek, and we've gotten a total of 7 purple chests by using the suicide method and just sending the raid. So this is the gear that I've, I take, so I got my whole void set up right here, Dragon Warhammer, we have the Ruby, um, Dragon Bolt, E, Fire Cape, the Light Bear is very important here, um, yeah, and then as for my inventory, as you can see, I have the Lance, I got some magic gear, some range gear, not the best, even regular Dragon Crossbow, um, then we got some overloads, uh, the Prayer Enhanced Potion, four of the, uh, restorers and then seven brews some three stamina potions and then I've, i recently started taking thralls so what the suicide method is is you basically uh, make a ton of extra supplies in the raid and then purposely finish the raid come into the ulm room and die with the supplies so that you can grab them later on this is great for learning getting the mechanics down right and this is personally how i learned doing the chambers of Zarek. so i drop an overload stamina potion six of the restores and 20 brews that's definitely more than enough most of the time i don't even touch the supplies on the ground anymore but we probably will today because i'm going to be trying to commentate over the kill so the runelite plugins that I find very helpful helpful for this is the tile indicators and having the true tile kind of turned on so that you can kind of always see where your character is. Very, very helpful. Um, and then I also use this one called the visual metronome, which will show you the different ticks. Um, not super needed, but it does help for sure, especially when learning. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys quickly the um, the tiles that I have marked on the ground. So we'll just put the detached camera on quickly and we can have a quick overview of the tiles. Basically, these are the tiles I have set up. They just work for me. You don't have to have them as crazy as this. As long as you mark this one, this one, this one, and this one on both sides, you should be more than fine. Okay, so I still make a lot of mistakes as you are going to see, but it's when you make mistakes, it's good to like get back into the habit and uh, immediately pop right back into rhythm and that's the best way to learn in my opinion so start off by drinking the overload the prayer in hands and then drink a sip of the revitalization and then we'll pick up the extra potions that we did have i gotta make sure to put my um plug in on the virtual metronome it will help out a little bit drink a stamina and then we will put on uh pray magic piety and run into the room and just hope for the best so that's a magic right there we want to try and land a spec on the hand hopefully we can get another one nope so the hand is damaged now so we're gonna put our magic gear on oh we're out of rhythm we'll summon a magic thrall and hope for the best that we're in rhythm here nope we're not you can kind of tell we might be good now. Yeah, we should be all right. Okay. So once you are in this rhythm right here, you can see that the number or the the head will turn on two for me right now. It's different every pattern, but the head will always turn on two. So if you run out of rhythm, it's easy way oh, to get back into it like that. We'll run back over here. And... We'll run to this tile right here, and the head should turn on two, on two. We might have been a bit late there. And two. Should be in rhythm, though. It's a pretty nice little trick with this virtual metronome plugin. There we go. You can always stay in the rhythm this way. Um, once you are in the rhythm, you can feel free to turn off your uh, prayer, your overhead prayer. It's just going to waste prayer for no reason. Um, and then you want to make sure that your um, thrall is always summoned. Because that will make you get out of rhythm. So as you can see, one, two, tack. Good way to pretty much never miss a tick. It's a little trick, obviously, but uh, definitely works wonders. 
And then for the uh, mage or for the melee hand, it will still be turning on two. Um, we messed up there. Ugh. The whole point of this is to skip the specials, but you, you mess up from time to time. So I'll show you the best of my ability what we can do here. So it's still going to be turning on two. So one, two, click. Click this tile. And if you're in this pattern right here, it's called the one to zero. You basically will never take any damage at all once you get into the rhythm. So we can actually summon a melee thrall. We'll drink a stamina. And we can also use our dragon warhammer specs. As you can see, we are staying in the perfect rhythm this whole time. And we're never missing a tick. There we go. The, the mage hand was a little rough. Hopefully we can do better in the second uh, wave. But uh, as you can see, we barely used any food. A little bit of uh, supplies, obviously, here and there. But barely any specials, and we can stay in this consistent rhythm, and it's nice. But every wave, you know how there's three waves, it will be different. So he won't turn on two next time. He might, but it's different every single time. So you kind of have to figure out the pattern when the wave starts. As you can see, when the blue tile indicator hits that square, I click the hand, click the square immediately. Once the blue tile indicator hits here, we're good to go. It's as easy as that. Um, Alright, so this one, you just want to move out of the Fallen Crystals as best as you can, really. It is a little difficult sometimes. You can take some damage. Oh, a good time to, say, drink some potions, um, maybe an overload. And now we need to find out what the rhythm is. So we're going to spec. Put our mage gear on. And run. So we'll summon the thrall. And it looks like he will be turning. Oh, we messed up the rhythm. <laughs> Jesus. He won. There we go. Maybe it's three or four. Four, I think. So we put off our prayer. And we should be good for the rest of this if we do not mess up anything. Now, drinking an overload is a little bit tricky. Because you have to be precise with the tile clickment movement. Should be alright, though. Always keep an eye on your Thrall as well to make sure that you will always have a Thrall summoned. I always really like to keep my stamina as full as possible. Remember to drink your prayer in hands. So it should stay on the same pattern. Uh, I think we messed up the timing there. Run on four. And run on four. We'll summon a melee thrall. And we can pump out these specs. Doesn't look like we're going to hit it this time. But as long as we always are running on four, should be good. Nice and easy, man. Couple mistakes at the very start, but once you kind of like get into the rhythm, should be fine.
Thralls help a absolute ton. Doesn't seem like they're doing damage, but it definitely adds up over time. And then for the Mage Hand, you won't splash. So definitely worth it just for the Mage Hand. Now, obviously, there's better ways to kill the melee hand, like learning the 4 to 1 or whatever that method is. But uh, this is very easy, chill, and you don't have to deal with the specials. Drink another stamina. And finish off this left hand. Cool. Now we just have to wait. This is the final uh, phase, really. And I usually like to just start on the melee hand because we're already geared up. I'm going to quickly drink a Sarah Brew. That was no point because we just fucking took damage anyways. Maybe I'll drink one more sip. Revitalization. And get ready for the hand. And hopefully we can hit a Dragon Warhammer right off the bat. I need to get into rotation. And once you do it for a long enough period, you can kind of figure it out. I just messed it up there, though. Okay, so he is going to be turning, it looks like, two. Two. He's going to be turning on two. So keep that in mind for both hands and the final form. So once you get comfortable, summon a melee thrall, and we're good to go. Good thing about doing the 1-0 to zero method on this final uh, phase right here is the hand won't heal, and you won't have any flame walls or special attacks. That's why I'm a big fan of it. I know it's not the most efficient, but it's just chill. Dump our next spec attack. Eh, at least we hit. Better than nothing, right? And you gotta keep an eye um, out, because you don't want to kill the melee hand. You just want to get it to very low HP. And sometimes my thrall will end up killing the hand, and I get a little annoyed. But, yeah, it is what it is. It's a little sketchy at 47, so I took off my prayer. Okay, so now we want to attack this mage hand. And I think it was two. Shit, we we're a little late there. And of course, a spec spawned. And it's still running on two, but the annoying shit is happening. And two. Easy as that. Two. <laughs> Mistakes will be made, especially when you're learning. I wouldn't say I'm 100% there yet, obviously, as you can tell. But uh, the point of this is anyone can do it. Overload. Hopefully we don't get a rhythm here. Nice. Stamina is running a bit low. Good thing we hit there because we didn't have the uh, whatever this is called, they're all spawned. Not doing too bad. I'm going to drink a Xerix Brew or whatever the fuck it's called. Kill the melee hand as quickly as possible. And now for the final form. A little bit stressful to st set this up. But again, we're running on two. We're a little bit early there. So one, two, and we're good. We're in rhythm. 
So all we have to do is attack here and run to this side. As easy as that. Attack here, run to this side. You're going to take damage from the Fallen Crystals. Um, but you won't take any damage from Ulm himself. So just drink a brew whenever you need to and run back and forth. Drink a stamina, of course, as well. Oh, take some damage there. It is what it is. We got plenty of brews left. And as you can see on the ground, um, we didn't need to suicide. Once you get good at it, you don't have to do the suicide method. Um, we still have the full supplies there. So, And you can also summon a range thrall here if you would like to a little bit extra DPS. Not needed, obviously, but definitely helps. Especially if you do not have the... Um, dragon hunter crossbow like myself we're just using the traditional regular dragon crossbow yeah so yeah once you uh get into the rhythm it's very easy the uh visual metronome plugin is definitely a huge help um until you learn the timing like i can still kind of figure it out just from um the patterns of doing it for so long but it definitely is a huge help <laughs> Especially when you kind of like forget where you are. All you have to do is remember one simple number. And basically like, you know how we're running on two right now? You run the tick before. So as you can see, we're running, we're click, we're attacking on one and then running on two, if that makes any sense. So we attack and run. And then you basically will dodge the attack every time. Not too bad at all. Drink a stamina. As you can see, we got plenty of supplies left. We easily could have done a deathless kill, but I wanted to show the suicide uh, method for the video, obviously. Because any anytime, we could just run and grab any of those supplies. Oh god, we're out of prayer. That doesn't really matter, though, because uh, Ulm's not actually attacking us, but we can put uh, Rigor back on now. Lots of zeros, unfortunate, but it is what it is. And as you can see, when you do uh, land the ruby bolt specs after, they do less damage. So some people take a bolt switch, but uh, yeah, white loot, white chest, as you can see, unfortunate. But look at this. So we still have all the 20 uh, brews, the six restores, the overload, and the stamina potion on the ground. And the leftover supplies is actually a decent amount. So we've got an extra three brews, three and a bit brews. We've got two full restores left. We have two sips of overload left. Um, two sips of prayer in hands, which we could have sipped. And three doses of stamina. So we are definitely a little bit over prepared there. I always take my stamina potion back, obviously. And then I turn the metronome plugin off. And let's see what we got for the loot. But as you can see, you have tons of supplies if you use this method. And ignore the time. I was uh, setting things up, getting this video ready and everything. So it didn't actually take a full hour. But uh, let's see what we get. Eh, some herbs, 500k. Not too bad.